now and i'm up to see mariah of studs and pieces so we could film a quick video come along with me i don't know if i mentioned to you guys but i've been trying to practice wearing lashes so every opportunity i have if it's not when i'm going to work on a normal day i try to put something on today i was out filming i'm just gonna take it out because it feels like there's something there. I really want to use you guys to climb this thing because I'm really scared of high. So. I really hate climbing. So I want to stop talking to you guys while I'm climbing. But yeah, I'm almost there. Stephanie's here. Hi, Steph. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Thanks for waking up. Early. I know. You woke me up. Guys, welcome to my channel officially. So I'm in Morayo's house now and we're about to start the feature. Hi, everyone. My name is Morayo. Onilere. And she's the CEO of Studs and Pieces Jewelry. It's a brand, obviously, that's in my Instagram page by now, but they're on Instagram and they serve the whole world, really, because we do post it to America every time during lunch and stuff like that. Yeah. So I brought Mariah here today, as you have seen from the title, just to talk to you guys um, about how she started her jewelry business, just in case anyone is interested. You know, Niger, there's no jobs, guys. It's good, even if you with your job, it's not secure, so it's always good to have something on the side. So, I really, really love you know, meeting ladies on their grind like this who are doing finance, finance consulting, like myself, and then also something on the side. And she has business is serious, it's not one of those joking or selling earring kind of mm -mm. <laughs> it's a serious one. Um, do you want to say anything to them? Hello or anything or welcome forever. Hi. <laughs> yeah, she's quite shy. I think I should just be here with her. She even tried to wake up, dress up and sit down here in front of you people. So that question I think you guys want to know will help you if you're trying to do a business or trying to go into jewelry, retail and designing. Yes guys, she designs her pieces sometimes. Some of her pieces are, if you see any other pieces, counterfeit because it's actually from her own head and everything. So yeah. When did you first realize you wanted to pursue a career as a retailer and then obviously a designer? Six years ago. Wow. Yeah, I was actually into clothing. I, oh. I had a boutique and I had um, an access fee section. Okay. So I just, you know, realized that I loved you the love that other side. Yeah, accessories more. Gradually I phased out the okay. clothing and then I just focused on accessories. Okay, so the boutique was it an online thing or a real a physical shop, it was inside oh. Unilag. Oh wow, yeah, all those days that yeah. grinded though, like it was so then. Um, did you ever do like an internship or an apprenticeship, just something to learn the business like this boutique now before you opened it, did you do anything or? Nothing just... in that line, no. Oh, wow. But I had people that I was looking up to, people that were already doing, that would what go to you... for advice. Okay, so when you had the boutique, did you start with selling, maybe going, like maybe yes, opening a box books. and then... Okay. <laughs> from okay. my car boots, I started selling. Yes, selling. Where boots. were you buying the things from? I was buying from England. I was mm. buying from Turkey as well. Okay. Oh, by the way, she had been. She has been in England for like twelve years. Twelve years or sixteen years. Oh, uh, twenty. Yeah. She has actually been here for twenty years. So she's. She knows all the land. Who has been your biggest mentor in this industry, and what's the best advice they've ever given you? Specifically, yeah, in jewelry, zones, zones, zones. jewelry. Yeah. Mm. She encourage me from the onset because i was selling to students yeah. i would tend to buy cheaper jewelry mm. yeah low quality like i was always scared that ah, would they buy it mm. will it be too expensive no but she was always there to push me you have to know your market have a niche like, just separate yourself yeah, yeah if you don't want to sell cheap stuff look for the clients that mm -hmm. would actually buy right, yeah. what you have they encouraged me don't give up consistency mm -hmm. and so gradually I started phasing out from the 1k 500 yeah. naira earrings. <laughs> I doing the 10,000 naira earrings and like, mm, can I do this? Yeah. But then I started looking for new new yes, customers yeah. that were ready to exactly. pay for value. Exactly. Yeah. I guess people even feel proud and you know feel better with themselves when they know this is what I paid for it. Mm -hmm. And if I can't afford it, you know, it's not coming. Yeah. To me. 
so yeah talking about this mentor where is she now in the business is she still doing the same she's thing she's still doing the business what i like about her she was also working doing her nine to five mm -hmm. was successful in in Most the business successful. and her career as well that was why i picked her as a mentor as a mentor yeah. okay did she know she was your mentor yes okay she did yes. cool getting out of high school secondary school as a colleague in nigeria what was the first job you did <laughs> I worked at Wimpy, Wimpy okay. restaurant. Okay. <laughs> I was a waitress. Aww. I was um, 16 and then I, I did that until my brother found out I was working. Was like, oh, you stopped working. Was Why it in Nigeria or here? Yeah. Okay. Wimpy restaurant. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And um, he called my mom, your daughter is working, she's not serious? focusing, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but to be honest, it was actually goes for me. I was like, I want to come, I'm definitely going to work, make money. But uh, to my came the weather. I know. <laughs> I said, I said, my daddy, please just keep paying my rent. As in, I couldn't even think about it, but that was actually a very good step. Yeah. Anyway, most people that grew up here actually turned from 18, start thinking of taking care of themselves and stuff Absolutely. like that. Absolutely. So I guess that even helped you. So if you could go back and tell yourself something from the beginning of when you started, you think you would have started earlier or something you didn't do then or yeah, just anything, maybe a process. I'll say to myself, don't be afraid. Okay. Like, just okay. do it. Once you have an idea, you never know until you, you made that effort it, just yeah. start whatever is on your mind what you're thinking of just start it that's what i'll say to myself because there's so many things i would think of so many ideas and i'll be like mm, maybe it won't work eventually just phase out there's actually a, a um, quote i really really like failure is kind of cool it teaches you what not to do this is always the best in everything so don't be afraid like, to fail yeah. that's what i'll say to you know to, to myself yourself. again next question is something you had sort of mentioned but you hadn't you didn't really go into it so who are your target market right now you're from 18. oh okay yeah to so i have like 60 year old customers, customers even 70. my mom is 70 and her friends yeah. still patronize me you know with their sets they okay. like the heavy what well, men because i see some guys in yes our, we do our, men's bracelets as well as so as stylish well. Yeah. middle-aged men okay. yeah <laughs> <laughs> but what problem would you say okay let's not say problem but like your business now what does it fulfill what does it give so what problem does this solve? mustn't be, be like you know big problem in life but what does it do what does it add what value does it add yeah. we meet um, fashion needs <laughs> <laughs> and appetites it satisfy cravings. We satisfy, yeah. Your jewelry. Sparkly cravings. <laughs> Blingy cravings. Blingy cravings. Yeah, and then she loves a shine. Like, where you loves things that shine. Bling, bling, bling. Yeah. Okay. What's the most effective way you've gotten buyers and potential customers? Uh, through social media. Social media, okay. Also referral, word of mouth. Yeah. Yeah, people will see a set and, or a piece and say, oh, I love this. Where did you get it from? Before you know it, somebody's texting me. Oh, I got your number from this and that. You know. I'm talking about social media because that's really, really important. So many people that have businesses there, they don't know how to. So do you use your IG story? Do you use your posts? So how do you actually push it out there to make sure people? I'm buy still it? learning okay. as well. I'm still learning. Okay. Um, but I use story. I use everything available. I use Facebook. I use I promote. Oh, okay. I use um the Instagram sponsored ads sponsored ad yeah, every week are not that expensive they're not expensive know. people think it's a big deal but yeah. it's actually not it brings a lot of dense to, okay, your, page. to your page you can even see the statistics and see yeah, how many people true. have viewed what you post there sometimes i get people calling from even outside from ghana yeah. they will send me messages, messages. from the um, and then sponsored mail you post everything yeah. this question is kind of like personal ish but not so personal but like personal towards the business is your cash flow positive each month Mm, no okay sometimes it's, it's quiet and i don't really push my ads yeah you don't get unique i don't um, get yeah so is there also a season for jury like is there a Absolutely, time where yeah. things are high things are low christmas or okay easter or the, you know the wedding season the wedding season um, like springtime yeah so many orders for you know earrings or for bridal yeah um the bridal train okay. yes so, so do you do like as implement well. it in your strategy to make things available at that time yes when things are Absolutely. more like more pieces and so for like colors as well like even christmas, christmas yeah okay yeah, yeah, kind of colors, on, yeah, yeah valentine. and valentine <laughs> and the stephanie piece yeah, in red. yeah, it was a, yeah. <laughs> actually guys i'm going to be giving away that piece really really soon stephanie piece is going to be going to one of you very soon and you guys see it's, it's dope like earrings thingy I think there's even a ring, a ring yeah. and it's beautiful. It's I gorgeous. named it after her actually. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I also have signing autographs. <laughs>
what was your biggest fear okay i think you already said that kind of like what was your biggest fear when you were going out to start your own it's so a fear of failing really. Yeah. Will it work? Will it not work? Yeah. Will I people buy? Is it too expensive? Or will they like it? So what's your favorite part about this business? It's fun. I enjoy it. <laughs> Especially the designing, bringing all the colors. Like this is one of our designs. Um, bringing all, I love colors. I love colors and also, yeah. Leave earring. Thoughts, your thoughts process, and actually yeah. seeing it the product, yeah. Um in reality. On people on people well. wearing it and people yeah. appreciating it Appreciate, and yeah. saying, Oh, this is so nice, <laughs> blah blah blah. And you know? So it it's fun. Really and that's what I enjoy about it. So how do you want uh, men and women to feel when they wear studs and pieces? I want them to feel proud, like yeah. knowing that this is a unique piece. That has been made with them in mind, and yeah. um, because most of these are handmade, okay, with our new designs, okay, they're handmade. Sometimes I'm in the factory, working okay. alongside. Yeah. So knowing that, okay, these are even these are unique designs that you won't even find yeah, anywhere. Um, anywhere. Can people make customized and pieces that like really get their names engraved on something yes. or yes. just something they really want? You can yes, actually put in that. That's so cool. So we're almost done guys just one more question what advice would you give to young girls and guys who are looking up to um you and want to enter a career in jewelry retail and design just go for it don't be afraid put your mind to it be ready to sacrifice be ready to work hard it's not easy it's, mm. it's not gonna happen overnight you have to put in the effort because there's so many competition out there now Today. and you have to just be unique, unique yeah let people remember you for yes okay i also say like don't lose your like unique eye whatever it is that makes you like what you like because obviously what makes her like jewelry might be different from you so just don't mm -hmm. lose your own um, taste and, and just don't follow the crowd the crowd yeah, yeah. Just, don't yeah. try to stand out stand and out. have something unique about you and your product yeah um have something that people will always come to oh yeah, i'm looking for nice bracelets you think about i know you. where to go to yeah i'm looking for bridal jewelry this is the right person to go okay. to question i didn't ask well we've talked about it so much and that's customer service how do you deal with angry customers because obviously not everybody's happy something can even happen that is not your fault yeah because customer is calling you come ah we are we have just received this earring is in fact and this is not even the one i chose so like what happened yesterday exactly <laughs> so how do you deal with this kind of people because it's really important it's just you know being being calm being calm you and know insult like yeah. and so oh, this you. rubbish my money i, I know. wasted it i don't even want to talk to you right now yeah. what is this this is not what i asked for da, 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 da. remain calm okay listen to them let them know that they you're are. actually yes <laughs> and then let them know that you're listening, listening. and that you understand yeah. their frustration yeah. empathy and empathy <laughs> <laughs> and solution okay. immediate solution make sure that you sort it out immediately yeah. doesn't want that one i was there with her that she didn't want it or so something I thought you now told her, that, please, can you just give someone as a gift? As or, a you know, gift, yeah. She'll just come with the way she just, you know, yeah. the girls like And then in the end. And you know what? She said, okay, don't worry. Right. Don't even exchange it. I'll tell you. you. <laughs> <laughs> as a customer service, she knows how to do so well. And it's so, so important for your business. I hope you guys have enjoyed this session. Please leave any questions you have in the comment section. I'm going to send the questions to her so she replies all of you. Thank you so much for watching. And then, as she said, go, don't be afraid. Go and do it. Follow her on Instagram at studs. I think it's studs dot pieces. Studs, uh, so it's dot studs and dot n. Okay, dot n pieces. Yeah, so it's gonna be on the screen anyway. Mm -hmm. Make sure you follow her on Instagram. She'll be doing giveaways very soon. As we die, the Stephanie piece coming to you very soon. Thank you. Thanks for watching. <laughs> By the way, she's the best. Best, <laughs> best, best, best. Yes, I tell them to um, click the thumb. Sorry, yeah, click the thumb up button and subscribe. The, subscribe and then the thumb up button. Yep. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much, Mariah. Thank you so much thank for coming. <laughs> See you guys on the next episode. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> Wedding expo. Yeah. The exhibition. People were coming to my stand. Echo hotel or Yeah. Okay. TV station now started calling me for interview.
Did you have interview Stephanie at the Are you serious? I was in the car, I said, hey, oh, let's see. Oh, now, so I don't go again. again. TV! Okay, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, so I don't go again. <laughs> she was sat well. Okay. Part of the reasons why I decided to, like, uh, oh. Okay. The reasons why I oh, say that thing now. What, what do you want moved to from Chipa. Okay, 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 okay. Stepped up on my on the okay on the quality of on stuff the quality. and then the target. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed and hey hey. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this session.